You've probably been told that Grok AI is only good for answering queries, quick clips, or simple talking heads, but honestly, most people have no idea what this tool is actually capable of. The truth is, you can create full, long-form videos where the character, the look, and even the tiny details stay perfectly consistent from start to finish. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I cracked the code. I built an entire 60-second cinematic film using only the free Grok Video Maker. No paid tools, no fancy animation apps, just Grok and a specific workflow that changes everything. But before we dive in, if you want to stay ahead of the AI curve, do me a quick favor. Smash that like button and hit subscribe. It helps me keep bringing you these advanced tutorials for free. Also, drop a comment saying Grok below if you are ready to level up your video game. Let's get started! Welcome! The first step is to generate our story using ChatGPT. You can also use Gemini or your favorite chatbot. As usual, I have prepared a few prompts in my Google Docs. I'm going to copy the first one. This is the main prompt, and it includes specific guidelines and rules for the AI to ensure it sticks to my vision. I'll go ahead and copy the prompt with the rules. Paste it into ChatGPT and hit send. ChatGPT will start generating the story. Let's give it a moment. As you can see, the story is done generating. Now I need to copy the scenes prompt so that I have specific visuals for the story. I'll input this into ChatGPT and hit send. As usual, ChatGPT will start breaking down the scene prompts for me. By the way, I have placed these prompts in the description and the pinned comment, so do well to check them out. Now that I have my story and my scene prompts, I'm going to open Grok AI. Here's the Grok AI interface. It looks like a normal chatbot, but it is actually an amazing image and video generation tool. First, click on Imagine. You can see a display of images and videos generated by the community here. I'll go back to ChatGPT and copy my first scene prompt. Back in Grok AI, make sure you have selected Image Mode. Next, select your aspect ratio. Choose 16 by 9 for long-form YouTube videos, or 9 by 16 for TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts. I'll stick with 16 by 9. I'll paste my image prompt and hit Send. Grok AI will start generating the visuals. Let's give it a moment. The first visual is done generating. As you can see, this is what we got. You can scroll through the options, preview them, and find the one you think is appropriate. I think I'll go with this one. To animate it, I simply click on Make a Video. Okay, that is done. Let's check it out. To achieve better and smoother continuity, here is the trick. Download this video and extract the end frame, the very last frame of this particular clip. I'll go ahead and download it using the download button. Once downloaded, I open it in my Photos app, specifically Google Photos. Some people prefer to just screenshot the last frame, but I prefer to export the frame because it gives me better quality. Click on Edit. Scroll to the very end where the light shines brightest. Click on Export and save the frame. Now let's go back to Grok AI. Back in Grok AI, I'll go to the Imagine tab. If you ever lose your place, you can click Favorites to find your previous creations. This time, I'm going to create a video, so make sure Video is selected. I'll go back and copy the prompt for Scene 2. Then I will upload the last frame I just exported. But wait, watch this. As you can see, the moment I uploaded the frame, it started generating a video immediately. That is not what I want. 
To fix this, we need to toggle off auto generation so we can add a specific prompt first. Click on your profile at the bottom left corner, go to settings, then behavior. Scroll down and make sure enable auto video generation is toggled off. This ensures that when you upload your image frame, it won't instantly turn into a video without your input. Now let's go back to Imagine with the video feature selected. I'll upload the last frame again. As you can see, this time it didn't auto-generate. Now I can paste my second scene prompt, which I already copied. I'll hit send. This method ensures our second character is introduced while maintaining the exact visual continuity from the previous scene. If you like the outcome, download it and repeat the process. Get the last frame of this new video to generate the next scene. I've downloaded and exported the last frame of the previous video. I'll return to Imagine, upload that frame, and provide the prompt for Scene 3 from ChatGPT. I'll hit Send. As you can see, the character is moving further into the scene. I'm going to repeat this process to generate all the remaining scenes behind the scenes. Once I'm done, we'll move to the next stage. See you in a bit. All right, I am done with all my scenes. Now I need to get my voiceover and stitch everything together. For the voiceover, I'm going to use Minimax. You could also use Google AI Studio's text-to-speech, 11 Labs, or any tool you prefer. I've shortened the story in ChatGPT to about 30 seconds. I'll copy the text and paste it into Minimax. I'll browse the voice library to find the most suitable voice for my story. I'll share with you what I've learned over the years. My experience has taught me that... I think I'll use this one. I'll select the HD model and hit Generate. Minimax will start generating the audio. Let's give it a moment. Once the audio is generated, I'll download it to my device. Now I'm going to use CapCut to stitch everything together. You can use any video editor, but just so you know, I have a full tutorial on CapCut Mobile on this channel, so check that out if you want to learn my full workflow. I have imported all my clips and added the voiceover beneath them. I'll align the clips to match the narration. Finally, I'll add some transitions and adjust the colors. Specifically, I'll auto-adjust, reduce the intensity to about 10 or 12, and add a 4K filter to make it pop. Let me show you the final result. They meet at the end of a narrow pier as fog rolls over black water. Lena waits, coat snapping, a lantern trembling in her hand. Evan steps from the mist, footsteps hollow. A boat bell rings, too close. They walk together, boards creak, water slams below. The lantern flickers darkness. When light returns, the shore is gone, only fog. A shadow circles beneath the pier. Wood cracks. Lena slips, but Evan stands on the water. My turn, he says, pulling her close. The fog lifts. Two reflections remain as the shadow sinks away.